Okay, um, because this is has all of the public financing authority, the Corona Utility Authority and the Counter Corona Housing Authority uh, involved. I would like to say what happens at the bottom, okay? Because I have been given uh, a statement, a, 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 an amendment to my housing agreement, my rental agreement, and I'm going to have to start paying for the water and the trash. And it says in this notice that many other apartments have started to do that too. And I have not been aware, I don't know that many people in Corona, but uh, this is a new process, which means it costs, causes another billing company to try and uh, figure out how to split the ticket on here. And I don't know that if there's any fairness involved and uh, it was just thrown at me. Uh, some of the other people were talking about it, but I got my papers uh, the other day. And I'm on Section 8, so I'm having to call my worker and find out if there's any budgeting differences because uh, they take, I was only paying the electricity, and now I have to pay the water and, and the trash, and that was included before. So that, this is what happens at the bottom. But the point is, above me, the apartment owners have been pressured for money, and they're looking down. They're not looking up or around, they're looking down. And I really can't afford it, most of my uh, neighbors uh, are pro you know probably can and we have a nice uh, building I think uh, the regular rent is 1060 a month for one bedroom and it's in emeritus park senior housing and I just want you to be considerate when you start passing all these things at the you know with the developers on down that people get hit at the bottom okay, thank you